Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just supporting my channel, just supporting me and allowing me to give you the information as you soak it in and just take it along your path. And it's just, you know, enhancing and enchanting our lives and such a good way and so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just opening up and telling me about your empathic gift and how it has affected you but sent you onto a positive path. And if you feel like the video has had good vibes to you and you know just felt like oh this is a good message and I want to share with a loved one or friend please do so and while you're at it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites so I hope you're able to get the I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and so thank you so much for stopping by the channel and for the support y'all I missed y'all even though that was like 24 hours I missed y'all <laughs> I really missed y'all but I really needed to recharge and refocus myself and you know just be able to clear my mind because it's like when you you know you're going through your own personal issues and then plus you're you know you're trying to send out so much love and light towards other people that need it just the same as I do you know that can come drainful and uh, not carry on but you know that's why I, I did what I did but the video, uh, the meditation video I'm listening to today is 741 Hertz Detox and Cleanse Aura. Remove toxins of negative blocks, spir spiritual detoxification. And I will post that link in the description box below. And um, if you, while you're listening to this music and you start feeling a tingle in, in, in your chest as well, up and down your body, uh, that's the music. So don't think anything's wrong with you because it's just like I don't want you thinking like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Because I felt it when I was meditating before um, I started the video. But um, yes, that that's the link that I post. I'm gonna post in the description box below. Yes, if you're going through those mental block, you know those spiritual mental blocks and stuff like that, this is really good to listen to. And um, the video today is Twin Flame 101 Impasse. If you ever hear the song Purple Rain playing in your head. First, before I start this video, please, no negative comments. This is just my opinion and what has came to me. So I know some people can be sensitive when it comes to my father, but that's still a sensitive subject. So if you have something that is not pleasant to say, Everybody has a right to their opinion, but be respectful of how you deliver your message. That's all I'm saying. Because the first disrespect I get, comments will be shut off. Point blank. But anyways, um, I know a lot of people have been coming to my channel that has gravitated from, you know, loving my dad, from listening to his music. And, you know, they, you know, it's like, it seems like my dad has sent a lot of people towards my way that, you know, associate their self really good with my dad like they have that purse purse close connection with my dad like through the music on how they helped them get through a lot of issues that they had in their life so um when I was listening to it uh if you ever been watching my videos for a long time now you would know I've never brought up this one purple rain it's always been a sensitive subject for me you know my mom used to tell me uh that you know that song seems like it was meant for me you know and she will always say it in a direct way and my dad will always get upset about it because I remember um when I first watched it the the movie Purple Rain I was 11 years old and you know my parents were contemplating about you know letting me watch it because they know how he was you know on stage so they knew how his songs were so they never knew how this song was going to be because it was on HBO at the time so you never know what was going to come up and they were like uh you know if it gets inappropriate you're going to have to leave the room and I said okay 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 just as long as you let me see him 
And I remember the first time I heard that song. I know a lot of people say it's hard for them to listen to, which it, it, it's, it is because it's just, it represents a lot of things that a lot of people are not wanting to face the pain that, you know, that they feel when it comes from that song. Because it's like when it first starts, that's the, you know, the tearjerker for me. And then when he gets to that guitar solo, I lose it. <laughs> I used to lose it. And there's times where it still got sensitive to me. But, you know, it's, it just seemed like any time I would get into that negative state of mind where I'm angry about the things that has transpired when it came to me and my, my father's separation and um, the things that have happened. We've been connected through dreams, you know. I, I would hear them always in my head all the time. And it was like, you know, um, when try, find, finally finding out the true meaning to it because it's like he showed me things in visions of, you know, how things were, you know, in our dreams that he wished he, it could be in the physical world, but yet it was still in the spiritual. So, uh, anytime I heard that song, you know, before I even knew what kind of emotions those were, I would get emotional at that age of 11 years old, not really knowing, but all I can see is like me and him holding hands like we did in our dream, and this rain just falling down on us like, you know, a father would play with his child. And I would get so emotional. My mom was like, are you okay? And I said, I don't know. You know, I'm, you know, I don't know what this emotion is. But that's what, every time I heard that song, I would see myself as a little girl playing with him in the purple rain. We were both dressed in white. And he would just twirl me around and stuff like that. So it was always hard to listen to. And then with, with hearing that, you know, people always assume it was about a significant other, but it was about the relationship of this child. You know, I was born on a weekend. He spent that, you know, the, the two or three days with me, you know, like if you were, you know, to deliver a child, they stay in there for two or three days. So he was with me for those three days. And then DFS came and got me and there was a big scuffle in the room. And there will always, I will always have these nightmares of hearing somebody screaming like this gut wrenching scream and it's just like the scream would sound just like it did on um thieves in the temple if you ever heard that that scream he does towards the end that song was always hard for me to listen to because it's about my family and then when i would hear that scream i always would burst out into tears even you know i didn't even know why but you know he never wanted to be a weekend lover and he felt like that's all he was is just with me just to love me for that weekend and when my father my adopted father started breaking off that connection with us when we were talking you know that's when it was talking about the you know I'm so sorry that the friendship had to end it's because of that disconnect you know that we no longer had anymore the only time I would have those connections is when I was dreaming in my spirit you know in the dreamland spirit land whatever but anytime you are to hear purple rain and you know you have that deep personal connection with my dad in some kind of way it's his music touched you in a certain way that has helped you overcome a struggle and you, you feel like you're in that place of dread hopelessness uh, not happy that's his way of trying to tell you he's trying to lead you to that way of happiness you know you might say that oh I'm going to do this I'm going to do that but it takes something that you have been impacted with at that certain time that put you in a bad situation and you might hear purple rain playing in your head and you don't understand why because there's like I said there's a lot of people has been hearing that and I notice when they tell me these things they're obviously going through something at the time so when you hear that that's him basically telling you he's trying to help you get to that better place he's trying to help you get to that joy that you have been searching for this whole time so you know like I said I'm not uh, this is the, the the things that he has brought to me this is the message that he has gotten to, uh, you know told me about but you know it has always been hard to actually listen to that song because it was like when I would start going to my old ways and see myself being angry for being separated being angry because finding out my dad had to be alone when he passed away it's just like a whole bunch of things was just bottled up and it was about to explode so when you hear that song know that he is with you at that time and he is trying to help you 
guide towards that better moment of your life, that that happiness, that utopia that you're desperately trying so bad to find. So I hope you are able to resonate with this video. Please, like I said, no negative comments. You know, you can voice your opinion, but like I said, it's just all about how you present it. So send out as much love and light as you possibly can. And um, know that you are blessed and highly favored and truly loved. And know there is always somebody praying out there for your better good. Y'all, I had a brain fart for a second. <laughs> so sorry about that. But anyway, it's, you know, send out, like I said, send out as much love and light and positive positivity as you possibly can like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know i'm about to upload my next video and drop me a line i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you're just opening up and telling me about your impact the gift and how it is you know impacted your life but in a negative way but sent you towards a positive direction and i will see you on my next video everybody have a blessed weekend be safe Know that you are blessed and highly favored and send as much love and light and pos positive light I can possibly give you. And I miss y'all and I love you bunches, bunches. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.